<laughs> it's been a few days and I've been to Lanzarote where it is very, 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 very hot. Or at least it was the weekend that we were there. Um, this weekend it's gone down to a very cool, like, uh, uh, mid-twenties apparently. But it was like up in the 30s when we were there. Hence. And this is with Factor 50. I've got conditioning treatment in my hair right now. Um, because, you know, combination of chlorine from pool and salt water and sun and you know just general holidayness um so yeah i've sprayed a load of things in there i've got some oil on my face and then i am just covered in aloe vera which my skin just goes <laughs> and pretty much like saturated ah oh. so yeah but it was lush <laughs> you could not avoid the sun like the whole time you're there you just like, if you wanted to do anything, you just, like, ow. It's blistering. But I feel like the vitamin D levels have been nicely topped up. Oh my god, I've got like a proper... <laughs> At least I'm not so pink anymore. Like, it's actually turning brown, like, which is okay. Do you know my bum just does not tan? How rude. Like, it literally just stops. Anyways, you don't need to know that. My shoulders, though, oh, obviously, because that's a bit that's in the sun the most, really, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, they are, like, you can't see it so much on that side. Bra straps hurt right now because, obviously, I, I you know, I, oh, oh. but, again, totally worth it. It was lush. We saw lava fields, lava for miles, well, for, for kilometres, lava. Obviously not moving molten lava, but, you know, we're, was it, in 1730s, in the 1730s, for six years, a third of Lanzarote was just molten lava spewing, wow, crazy, and it is, it's just like, it's nuts. We went on like a tour around the island. It was very cool. We went in this lush cave with like this pool and like tiny little white crabs in it. And uh, yeah, had a really, really good fun time. What else did we see? Oh, we went to the markets, to Geese markets, which they say flea market. And it's just all like Timu stuff, you know, like, like, no, thank you. No, thank you very much. <laughs> Um, although there was one shop that had a British guy and obviously like an expat dude like running this clothing and jewellery shop and he did have some vintage like silver in there and I was like what is, what is like is it like an arts and craftsy you know or like a Victorian morning brooch like doing here um, his prices were a little bit high as well but I should imagine it's because they're probably quite rare on Lanzarote um, but he's you know yeah, it was cool. Hello, Shizuma. And then I get back, and, and yesterday, Shizuma was a big, brave girly, and she went in the garden on her own, didn't you? She had a little sniff at the door, and then she stepped outside, and she was like, oh, and then she sniffed a plant, and then she ran back in. But it's progress, isn't it, Shizuma? Yes. You like this house a lot more than the last house, don't you? She definitely feels a lot more, a lot more secure here, which is nice. So like, hopefully in the weekend when it's a, a nice sunny day, actually I'm away at the weekend. Um, but hopefully like she can go out in the garden and rub in the sun and that will be nice. Cause I love it when she does that. She looks like she's really having fun. Uh, yes, I'm not going to Paris this weekend. Um, for lots of reasons. Like I think one, it would be knackering, like, and coming back out again um and two because um my brother isn't back from friday like until friday and he doesn't want to go straight back over there and then three it's mate's birthday I'm like right gotta go down to london and celebrate mate's birthday so that's the plans so i'm gonna be in london on uh like saturday sunday monday so that'll be cool looking forward to that um, so I did actually get back yesterday and do my post. So I like, 
So today isn't a uh, look at the how many orders did I have? Thirty-eight, something like that, I think. Um, yeah, so it's not that I've only got two to package up this morning. So far, I'm waiting on payment on another two. Um, that were literally just like been ordered. So that's cool. So like the two things that I do have to package up today, um, a little so just this cute little pair of dangly teardrop shape um earrings sold for four pounds and then this blister pearl um bracelet sold for eleven pounds nineteen. So that's all I've got to package up this morning. And I'm gonna leave all of the moisturizing stuff on all day so I don't particularly care if people look at me weird weird round town because Tony pretend, why do I care? <laughs> um, I'm gonna put some more on actually. Um, uh, yeah, quick look around pretend and then prepare for tonight's uh, what not show because I don't actually know what I'm doing. Story of my life. Anyways, I'll catch you a bit when we're going out. Okay, I'm out, I've done my first bit of post but walking past quirky, just wanna show you something. I want that television so bad. That is so cool. You know, it would be awful though, and it's really heavy and probably doesn't even. Well, it won't. It won't accept. Hello, you're right. <laughs> I just saw someone from uh, from the Closed Down Charity Shop. Oh, that's a snazzy bit of artwork. Ah, it's a problem. I just like too many of the things. Anyways, onwards we go. But yeah, so you know that TV wouldn't be able to, like, there's no analog signal anymore, so uh, it looks cool. Ah. Anyways, yeah, could I have a little look see round town or just text someone? Well, I'll just text me to go like, do you fancy Miami brunch? I doubt she will, but you never know. Um, um, yeah, a little look see round town, drop off the bits at the post office, and then chill. God, holidays are knackering. There we go. That's the new pub, the new sports bar that we so desperately needed in Britain. I'm not going to go straight to the charity shops. I'm going to dump these first and then do them. Oh, and that's a new piercing place open as well. Should we get pierced? Right, here we go. Craft things. And more origami for the enthusiast. Rather for the unenthusiastic that would be quite funny origami for the unenthusiastic and uh, microwave dough craft lovely Nia bought a bracelet on holiday and apparently it's broken and she's lost it already let's see if there's anything like it but no I'm sure we'll find one at some point ask the universe and it does provide nothing here today and they're doing the windows. Looks like they put some net curtains up. Uh, maybe it's like a wedding thing. I get it. Sporty dress. Uh, very 90s. But I don't want to pick up any more clothes. Who's this by? Kathy von Slugenberg or something, I don't know. Hmm. Do you look a bit G plan esque? Jimmy, is the cut possibly, possibly not. Yeah, possibly this thing's on the Bangalore. £20 for a bag? Bad yeah. Two riders, two riders. Everybody sing along. Ooh. And this is where Stephen goes, that, that there, that thing, it's worth £974, and I'm like, what that? But that's why Stephen's very good at this and why I only pick up jewellery. Cute little cups though, oh, they're little measures. Oh, how twee. See now, these are... They've reduced these because they were asking quite a lot of them before. I am tempted, but I like the one that was here and it was a weird shape one. They still got the box for it, but no vase. But they are cute. I don't know what to do. Now in the, uh, the dog's trust. Oh, look at that the other day. 
It's quite cute. My mother is pearl, but they don't get a lot, unfortunately. Which is a shame because they are cool. Right. Da, da, da. Ooh. Chunky gold on stuff. Oh, I quite like that one. That's cool. Hmm, find a few little pretties. Look at this little wooden bird necklace. Isn't it cute? And now we're in air ambulance. Oh, little Scottish bagpiper. He's kind of fun. They're quite nice. Don't mind them. Possibly little silver studs, but probably leave them. And silver and gold. Very lightweight one, that. Very lightweight. What's that? LCI or something? Cute little star. Little shells. Hello. Charity shop's done. Bought a couple of things that are quite cute. I'm just having a little wander um, around the subway in home bargains. Um, for a couple of minutes because um, my mum's gonna join us for lunch so that's quite nice hooray i think at some point i've tried nearly everything on this menu my favorites are shakshuka miami brunch a fish finger sandwich which is quite tempting right now the masai goreng um, beef brisket chili the it's like a Oh no, oh that's new actually. The cowboy smash bird is lush and all of the tapas is good. So yeah, I don't know what to have. So this is lunch. I've got aubergine parmigiana, some bang bang cauliflower, broccoli. Mum's got um, a Moroccan flatbread thing and some potatoes bravas. Lush. Oh, back home. Lunch was lush. Even got a doggy bag for tea later which is nice um i suppose i better do some work today <sighs> boring so work wise instead of doing listing which i'm not in the mood for um i've been doing a little bit of the stock take i've only done the top four boxes there and these are things that i found that are no longer listed for whatever reason, I definitely listed them. Um, that one, quite recently. So, I don't know why they seem to have dropped off. Which is weird, and I'm not the only person that, um, that that's happened to. I'm sure you've all had listings, for some reason, disappear. Um, Hey-ho. Anyway, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 items from four boxes. That's not good, is it, eBay? Well, I think it is. They say, like, when um, you manually, like, end and do, like, sell similar or something. Or, and, like, relist or whatever it is that you do. Um some of them glitch and then they don't just don't get re-put on i think it might have something to do with that possibly um or sometimes when um something gets ordered and then the buyer has to cancel and you go like yes relist with fees maybe sometimes that doesn't happen but then none of these to my knowledge were those kind of things but anyways 16 things so i'm going to carry on doing some of that um, I'm just going to do two boxes, I think. Just two boxes. And we'll see if um, it turns up with anything. Oh, God, it's exciting stuff, isn't it? Woo-hoo! Two boxes done. Three more listings dropped off. Great. Okay, so four boxes done. And that's nine items that have dropped off. Oh, dear. Well, I ended up finishing the stock take. How many things did I find? 62 items. All and off. 
Oh well. That's what's going to be in tonight's whatnot show then. Let's sort that out. You alright, kitten? Did you go out? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, speaking of whatnot, I'm going to have some dinner. I'm going to make myself a little bit more presentable and wash all this conditioning stuff off and everything. And um, yeah, catch you on the whatnot show. But although I'll probably finish this after I've done it because I've got to edit it and I don't have time to do it now. So I'll see you after it. I'll let you know how this stuff goes. All dressed and refreshed and uh, I've got two minutes until my whatnot show starts. So I've grabbed myself a coffee and uh, yeah, let's go do this. I'll let you know how it goes. Labels are printing from the whatnot show. That was cool. Sold a couple of silver rings as well um, from a delivery that I got in while I was away. So happy with that. Um, it was a nice chill one and it feels like I've cleansed myself of uh, the ridiculousness of losing all of those blistings from Phoebe. eBay. Anyways, I'm going to go have another drink now, stepping into darkness. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, look at this cat on the floor. Are you quite alright there, Tilda? Huh? Yeah? Have you got a nice life? Have you got a big belly? <laughs> it's a big belly. Yeah. Anyway, should we say night night, Tilda? Yeah? Say night night. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> night night. Bye bye now, bye bye. <laughs>